There are many beautiful islands all over the planet. Some of them are beautiful destinations which many people head to for vacation spots or just to get away from society. But stunning as they may be, there are islands that hold just as much danger as they hold beauty. Keep watching for interesting and major news and articles from around the world. And please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Check out these 10 most dangerous islands in the world. Tristan de Cunha The British island group of Tristan de Cunha stands profoundly alone in the South Atlantic. It is the world's most remote inhabited island. It is so precariously occupied that when a volcanic vent erupted in 1961, the whole population was evacuated to England. However, today, Tristan de Cunha, which lies midway between Africa and South America, has a population of only 265 people. Tristan de Cunha's only settlement, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, is built on the flat below the 6,765-foot volcano Queen Mary's Peak. Smack in the middle of nowhere, it is 1,243 miles from St. Helena, which is its closest neighbor with residents, 1,491 miles from South Africa, and 2,088 miles from South America. The dangerous part of this island is still its active volcano. Tristan de Cunha is an active stratovolcano formed above a magma hotspot some 400 kilometers east of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Rockall Island Don't be embarrassed if you've never heard of Rockall. Most people haven't. It's probably because Rockall is one of the most desolate, despairing places on Earth. This tiny island is constantly buffeted by 34-knot winds and pummeled by 30-foot and occasionally higher ocean swells. Rockall is the eroded core of an extinct volcano that is 52 million years old, and it is 248 miles from the nearest land. Except for a few small animals and seabirds, gannets, kitiwakis, and the occasional pigeon and puffin, no one lives there. With no fresh water or vegetation, Rockall is uninhabitable. Rockall is said to have been mistaken for an iceberg, a sailing ship, a whale, and a submarine. An armed merchant cruiser, thinking it was an enemy vessel, warned it to surrender in the First World War before opening fire. Bear Island Bjornoya, better known as Bear Island, is the southernmost island in the Arctic archipelago of Svalbard, 400 miles north of mainland Europe, but only on paper, given that it's almost 150 miles south of the Norwegian island chain with which it's lumped. It's been a nature reserve since 2002 and has a lively history of failed occupation. Hard to believe for a place of barren cliffs and near-zero precipitation. But these are not what makes the island dangerous. Organic toxins, specifically PCBs, have been found in high concentrations in biological samples from Bear Island, especially in Arctic char of the freshwater lake Elashon. It is more well known that the Soviet nuclear submarine Komsomolets sank on April 7, 1989, about 100 nautical miles southwest of Bear Island. Leakage of radioactive material from the reactor of the submarine and the nuclear warheads it carried currently poses a problem, and severe pollution of the surrounding waters remains possible. Ramri Island Ramri Island is considered to be one of the most dangerous in the world after harboring a dark secret which resulted in the deaths of hundreds of people. The island off the coast of Burma was a big part of World War II with some battles taking place within it. In 1945, British soldiers drove Japanese fighters off the main part of the island into the dense mangrove forests. What no one realized was that they are home to an unknown but large number of saltwater crocodiles, which are known for being an animal most likely to eat a human. According to historical interviews, anywhere between 500 to 1,000 retreating Japanese soldiers were devoured by a large infestation of saltwater crocodiles as the troops entered the marshes and mangroves that surround Ramri. Only around 20 of the men emerged to be captured by the pursuing forces. The survivors immediately began spewing tales of reptilian monsters. Farallon Islands Named for the Spanish Farallon, meaning rocky pillar jutting from the sea, the Farallones was called the Devil's Teeth by sailors in the 1850s for their ragged profile and treacherous shores, the cause of many a shipwreck. But that is not the only danger here. The sea around the Farallon Islands off the coast of San Francisco was used as a dumping site for radioactive waste. An estimated 47,555-gallon steel drums were discarded here, 
but their exact location and the risk they pose to the environment is unclear. It is also believed that attempting to remove them would cause more damage than leaving them untouched. There is also an extensive elephant seal population, which attracts scores of great white sharks. Hashima Island Located 15 kilometers from Nagasaki, is reputed to be a tourism heaven on Earth. However, it contains the graves of hundreds of Chinese. Hashima Island could once claim the title of the most densely populated spot on the planet. The thousands of Japanese workers, as well as forced laborers from China and Korea, who toiled in the island's deep mine shafts during World War II, are long gone. At its peak, more than 5,000 people worked and lived within the seawall that encircles the small island. The mines were closed in 1974 and the island was abandoned. Most of the massive concrete buildings are still standing, though, which gives this island the aura of a floating ghost town or an old battleship. It's become a destination for adventurers, and it was turned into an evil villain's lair in the James Bond film Skyfall. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch Is the world's largest collection of floating trash, and for whatever reasons aside from human stupidity, is the most famous. It lies between Hawaii and California and is often described as being larger than Texas, even though it contains not a square foot of surface on which to stand. It also cannot be seen from space, as is often claimed. Microplastics make up 94% of an estimated 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic in the patch, but that only amounts to 8% of the total tonnage. As it turns out, of the 79,000 metric tons of plastic in the patch, most of it is abandoned fishing gear. 46% of it, not plastic bottles or packaging drawing headlines today. An estimated 100,000 marine animals are strangled, suffocated, or injured by plastics every year. Saba Island The island of Saba rises majestically from clear azure waters, stretching its summit to caress the clouds. It is like no other Caribbean destination. Untouched by the quickening pace of the modern world, an island caught within a moment. This Caribbean island in the Lesser Antilles chain is a special municipality of the Netherlands. Saba is primarily known for its diving, and it has a wealth of scuba and snorkel opportunities, rivaling those of much larger destinations. However, if you ever want to visit, make sure it's during the winter. According to the website of the Caribbean Hurricane Network, the tiny island of Saba has been hit by more severe hurricanes in the last 150 years than any other in the region including by 15 Category 3 storms and 7 Category 5s. Miyakejima, Japan About 160 kilometers south of Tokyo is the town of Miyakejima, sitting at the base of the volcano that shares its name. This town is covered with a cloud of harmful sulfur dioxide gas spewed into the air by volcanic eruptions. The area's cold and heavy weather systems make it worse. Dealing with the sulfur dioxide constantly pumped into the air is one of the consequences for those living in Miyakejima. To live there, you must carry a gas mask at all times. If the air quality gets bad enough, the town turns into a masked extraterrestrial-looking crowd of people who look as though they are attending the same themed costume party. The year 2000 was a particularly awful year on the island, so bad that it was shut down and inhabitants had to be evacuated. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico The Island of the Dolls, or in Spanish, La Isla de las Muñecas, is one really creepy spot. The island, which is fairly close to Mexico City, is overflowing with dolls hanging from trees. Myths abound about the island. Legends say that a young girl drowned there, the man who found her later finding a doll floating where the girl had been. Out of respect, he strung the doll up to a tree, but despite his act of reverence, he felt haunted by the spirit of the girl and began to hang more and more dolls to please her. There are hundreds of dolls there today, many of which have severed limbs or are decapitated or mutilated in some way. The effect of these lifeless figures swaying in the breeze is understandably macabre, and unsettling stories are plentiful. We hope you enjoyed our video. Let us know in the comments which one you think is the most dangerous. And if you like the video, click the subscribe button and you'll be notified when we release a new one. We appreciate you and want to thank you for watching.